Hey, it's Haplin, and in this module, we're going to learn how to generate QR codes. This is a super easy, quick win. It can be used as a standalone feature. I'm going to show you how to do it right now. All you got to do is head over into Sites and then click QR codes. Once inside the QR code interface, click Create QR Code, and that will pull up the builder. We'll give it a name. And next, we'll select the QR code type. Typically, when you think of a QR code, you'll probably be thinking of a website. QR code, when you scan the QR code, it just pulls up the URL and now you're visiting a website. Like when you scan the code to see a menu at a restaurant, anything like that, it's a website. But you can also do a review link, which will pull up a request for the person who just scanned that QR code to leave a review of the business. Or you can do call, SMS, or email. SMS or email work similarly in that once they scan the QR code, it will actually pull up the SMS app or the email app uh, and it can even have predefined fields in terms of what the message is, where the message is sending to, etc. This can be really helpful for generating compliant conversations, like with SMS, for example, if you have them scan the code and it pulls up uh, an SMS that already has the to address, the number is your phone number, or the business's phone number, and the message is already predefined, like I'm looking for help with this or that, or give me my free this or that, whatever. They send that message, and because they sent that first message in, now you have a compliant SMS conversation. You can go back and forth live two-way. And then if you do call when they scan the QR code, it will just start an outbound call to the number that you define. So let's go with SMS for the moment. We click next, and now we just have to define the phone number and the message. So this is where you you would put the business's SMS enabled phone number. It can and probably should be a high level number if you want to get the most out of the rest of the SMS features in high level, but it doesn't have to be. This could be my personal cell phone if I wanted. And then you get to predefine the message so that it actually saves the time of the person having to type anything out. It standardizes everything coming in. Basically, every time you get that message inbound, you know that somebody scanned that QR code. So once you have your additional information defined, click next, and now you just get to style it a little bit. I'm going to gloss over some of the styling details because they're not particularly functional, but once your QR code looks the way that you want it to look, you can download it as either a PNG, SVG, or PDF. From there, you can publish it on the web on any kind of website built on high level or otherwise, and or you can actually print out this QR code and put it on physical marketing assets like a flyer, a brochure, or a business card. It gives people a clear and convenient way to engage with those physical marketing assets. And that's really it. Once your QR code is set up and downloaded, you can hit save. It will organize inside the system. You can grab it at any time, update it at any time, the URL changes or the phone number changes, anything like that. Once we're using our QR codes, we also have the ability to get some sweet analytics on them. So if we click analytics, we'll see that there's a whole page dedicated to seeing the performance of our QR codes, who is scanning them, which ones are they scanning, etc. This gives you confidence as to how your QR codes are performing, as well as gives you the ability to test out different QR code strategies, putting a QR code here versus putting it here in this physical location, which one performs better etc. Stuff like that. It's all really simple, which makes QR codes one of the easiest wins in the Quick Wins playbook. So now that you understand how to use QR codes in high level, you can go ahead and move on.